Dual Sheath Redux Customizable Weapon and Shield Placement Let us learn how to install it and how to run the patcher. The first thing that we are going to do is head on over to Nexus and download Dual Sheath Redux. Nexusmods.com slash Skyrim slash mods slash 34155 After getting to the page, scroll down to the file section. The only file you need to download is the Dual Sheath Redux main file. Use the Download with Manager button. Manual users can download manually, and if Mod Organizer users are having issues, you can also download manually and navigate to your Mod Organizer folder, to the Downloads folder, and download the mod here. And it will be just as if you had downloaded with the Manager button itself. Now when you begin your download, whether manually or with a mod manager, you will notice that there are three requirements to installing Dual Sheath Redux. Java Runtime Environment, which I'll provide a link to in the description. When installing, skip all the unnecessary toolbars and just install Java. SKSE, the Skyrim Script Extender, of which there is a video on how to install within the step playlist. And the last one, the XP32 Maximum Skeleton, or XPMS. And if we head over to the XP32 webpage, which I will also add to the description, this mod requires both Realistic Ragdolls and Force to be installed, as well as Finis, Force New Idols in Skyrim. A Finis installation video is also provided within this step playlist. And now, moving on. Now for those of us who are using Mod Organizer, to allow Dual Sheath Redux's Faux Mod Installer to properly detect the mods that you have installed, you must disable Mod Organizer's internal Faux Mod Installer to do so. Go to the Tools icon at the top of Mod Organizer, opening the Settings window. Then go down to the Plugins tab, and here we will see, in the left window, the Faux Mod Installer not the external one. Click on it and leave enabled in the right window as true, but change preferred by double clicking where it says true next to it and change it to false. And then go ahead and click the okay button at the bottom. Now, from the main mod organizer window, we will open up the downloads tab and scroll down to the bottom. Now if installed manually, you will see a yield sign warning to the left of the downloads name. To remove this warning, as well as to add the meta information from the Downloads Nexus page, right-click the download and select Query Info. Now, to install this download, double-click it. Now this menu will appear because of changing the preferred setting to false on our FOMOD installer, giving us a different installer window than would appear if we hadn't changed that preference. And even though this window says that it will not detect the mods you have installed, it will actually do the opposite, making installation much easier. For those of you using the step guide explicitly, I will list the step options in the margin as well as number each of these windows accordingly. Options set 1. Everyone will check mark the patcher and vanilla meshes box. And for those of us who will need compatibility patches, for mods we use supported by DSR, we will check mark the Mod Packs box. Then, select the Next button. Option 2. If you use a Swords on Back option, select Yes. I do not, so I will select No. And then, the Next button. Option 3. If you use the Skyrim Weapon Day Larpification Project mod, check mark the box. And then, select Next. Now when this window appears, this installer will already have checkmarked all of the mods that you have installed. If we didn't change our faux mod installer preference to false, we would have to go through and manually checkmark each box, making sure and hoping we did not miss one. Simply click the finish button, and the installation part is done. Now after Dual Sheath Redux has been installed, the main Dual Sheath Redux mod, as well as all of the compatibility patches that you selected, will be located at the bottom of the left pane window. Since I already have mine installed, I will simply type in Dual 
in the search menu so that you can see the Dual Sheath Redux mod has been installed. Make sure that you check mark the box next to it. And then in the right pane of Mod Organizer, at the bottom you will see the Dual Sheath Redux ESP. Again, because mine is previously installed, I will search Dual so that you can see it has been loaded. Make sure to check mark the box. Now we will add Dual Sheath Redux to Mod Organizer's list of executables for easy execution. All Skyproc patchers, such as Skyree's Reprocker, will be installed to the executables the same exact way. In Mod Organizer's right pane, open up the Data tab. Scroll all the way down near the bottom and open the Skyproc Patchers directory. Then expand the Dual Sheath Redux Patch directory. Locate the Dual Sheath Redux Patch.jar file, right click it and select Add as Executable. Name the executable what you like and select OK. Now, in case you were asked to locate the Java binary, browse to where you installed Java, usually the Program Files 86 folder, Java, JRE7, bin, and select the java.exe file. The Dual Sheath Redux Patcher will now be located in our Executables drop down menu. Select it and then click the Run button, opening the Dual Sheath Redux Patch. You can open other settings to view what's inside, but not necessary. Simply click the Patch button at the top right. When the patch has been completed, you will now notice at the bottom left pane of Mod Organizer, the Overwrite folder has contents inside. This will now become the Dual Sheath Redux patch. Right click the Overwrite folder and select Create Mod. Name this mod whatever you like. I will call it DSR Patch. Click OK and you will now see the patch loaded at the bottom of Mod Organizer's left pane. Check mark the box, then assure in the right pane under Plugins that the Dual Sheath Redux Patch.esp is check marked as well. Load order should not be an issue, but in case it does make you nervous, click the Sort button and Organize with Loot. And each subsequent time that you run the Dual Sheath Redux Patch, the files will appear in the Overwrite folder. You will need to drag these files into this new patch each time. And it is suggested that you run the patch each time that you change your load order. Failure to do so may lead to crash to desktops upon startup. And a final note about another very popular and immersive mod, Immersive Animations, which I know many people use with DualSheaf. To get these mods to work together properly, you must install Immersive Animations before the XP32 Maximum Skeleton mod. And you must not install any of the animations from XPMS. This is due to an older version of XPMS being installed with Immersive Animations as one of the options. If and when this changes, I will leave a notation over the video so that you will all be aware. Now, we should know how to install Dual Sheath Redux, understand what mods need to be installed with it to run properly, how to add DSR as an executable within Mod Organizer, and how to run the patcher. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.